Hey y'all. Uh, I thought I'd make a, a, a video real quick of some things that I wish um, they had told me before I'd have my shunt surgery. Um, I'm still recovering from it. It's been maybe 36 hours since I came out of recovery. Yeah, there are some things I wish that they had told us. Uh, one thing is that I didn't know I'd have a hard time breathing after getting out of surgery. They gave me this nice little machine, which I currently cannot reach. Um, to breathe into to help reflate my lungs, which is great. Um, something that was probably a little bit scary and it keeps waking me up is that I can actually hear my shunt when it's draining. And when it happened last night, it woke me up and I freaked out and I called in the nurse. So that's a thing, that's a new normal that you have to get used to. Um, something else is that I didn't know. I was totally preparing and totally ready for um, the pain that would come from like having your skull cut into and everything like that. I was totally ready for that pain. What I wasn't ready for was the pain coming from my stomach. Like, it's it hurts so much to breathe. It hurts so much to like swallow. Oh my God, like. I'm taking some heavy duty painkillers and I'm just like, oh, I'm trying so hard not to be a baby, but I have to sleep sitting up, which is why you get this lovely angle right now, because I'm currently sleeping in a recliner. Something else that's nice is that it's really like you, you fall asleep randomly. Cause like, you no longer have a headache. And when you can finally stand like the uh, pain in your stomach, you can just ignore that and just sleep. But when it actually comes time to sleep, like right now, uh, you find it a little bit hard. It's currently like 1 a.m. I took my meds cause I was sitting here playing Pokemon shiny hunting and I kept falling asleep took my meds and of course that's when my shunt decides to run and freaks me out a little bit and of course it wakes me up yeah some other things that I wish I had known before my VP shunt is that I wish I had known how bad it was going to be to try to use the bathroom afterwards after I got out of the bed the first time it took three people to get me standing like you don't realize how much your um, abdominal muscles account for everything until you can't use them because they've kind of been cut into oh. one thing I've been looking into is a body pillow just to like get propped up or whatever. And I'm hoping I don't drop it, but I keep, one reason why I haven't posted anything for a while is I keep dropping my phone and it keeps, every time I drop my phone, my phone hits my incision, which is not fun. Oh my God, these marks are going to drive me nuts. Yeah, but some things I wish they had told me during the VP shunt before that is that you, you got to prepare for having a hell of an abdominal time. Because I, I was like, you know, they, they gave me a week off school like that. That is so long. That is so long. And now I'm sitting here after this pain in my stomach and I'm like, I don't even think that a week is enough for me to heal. 
it's just I'm such a, I'm being such a baby right now but yeah I'm having such a hard time using the bathroom and we're using Benafiber and all that crap and part of my issue is that like I can feel the poop moving I can feel it moving I can feel it wanting to get out but it's not coming out so that uh, that's another thing so you don't realize how much your abdominal muscles help with that until well they're away on vacation and you're trying to use them just oh uh, you know I know in the long run I'm gonna be happier I know I'm gonna be happier. Sorry, I thought my pupils just did something funny. I know I'm gonna feel a lot better, but for right now, holy shit. Can I turn back time and cancel my appointment? Can I? Please? I currently have a thermometer over here to watch my feet. Well, not my fever, but to make sure I don't develop a fever and don't have to go in. Like, oh. Oh, this is just so horrible. Oh. Well, I'll see if I can add anything. Oh. Yeah, you're not allowed to remove your bandages for like 48 hours. I still have like 12 hours to go. Oh. Oh. Yeah, if you're thinking about being a tough cookie and like not taking your pain meds on a schedule, I pushed my pain meds back an hour and I, I died. I died. Huh. Uh, I'm still living right now, but I trust me, I died. So, I gotta try to go back to sleep. We'll see how much this works out. Okay. Piggy. She's being very understanding. quickly learned where my incision was and has been staying away from my sensitive areas. Aren't you? Oh, is Yeti doing something that you're interested in right now? Nurse Piggy to the rescue.